TJOS, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate the love. And make sure you stay uh, on jlgore.com for all news and information. Right now, we have, oh man, where do I start? A model, a dancer, a video (laughs) vixen, acting. I mean, she's been featured on the show magazine, uh, February 2014, the Cake magazine, hot new hip hop. Um, she was in a play, Romeo and Juliet, which we all know and love. Jennifer Morell, what's the deal? How you doing, guys? How you Everything's doing? Thank good. you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> now, you know, the crazy thing is, I, I don't want your management to kill me because when I sent the request, it was, uh, yes. I spelled your name J-E-N-N, but you only have one N in your name. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Somehow, my mom, probably back in Dominican Republic, did not know how to spell it. She's like, wait, it sounds better with two F's, so how about we just put two F's in there? That's awesome, that's <laughs> good, awesome. Good, actually, because, you know, anywhere I go, it's like, oh, no, I'm Jennifer with two F's. Good, <laughs> good. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm pretty sure, like, your friends, like, they try to text you, Jennifer, and, like, the, the autocorrect probably changes it to the right. Right. <laughs> the it's double like, ends. Right, like, I think, I think this is the Dominican way. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on, right on. Well, of course, you know, all the listeners want to know, how did you get started in professional modeling first? We know that you're an entrepreneur, but for modeling, how did you get started with that? Well, it was basically, um, everything started back since I was a dancer. I mean... I guess I started dancing as a backup dancer, and um, eventually I just started doing pictures, taking pictures, and um, I just, this love for this, um, for, for, for photography was just so big, I decided just to get in front of the camera, you know, I, I used to be in front of the camera I was when I was dancing, right. and I just, photography and modeling has taken over, nice. so it's just been, I guess, since dancing, <laughs> nice. just derived all that into modeling now. So, so, so do you feel like before, you know, like you pick the right moment because we have like a lot of like Instagram models that are out there and, you know, like, like beautiful women, but you know what I mean? They don't really get the exposure. So do you, like, when did you come in to where you're just like, you know, I just, I just want to carry myself as, as an official model, you know, when did you want to publish yourself to be a model? I should say. Just to be a model, I guess, um, uh, I'll say right after, no, no, right in the middle of college, probably my sophomore year, I guess. Okay. Um, but even so, I was teaching dance, so it was just both for a meanwhile. And um, I guess I'll say probably just after I graduated from college, I just like, okay, I need to take this serious and, you know, just make modeling my career. And then I moved over here to L.A. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Now, speaking so I've of... I've been modeling mm-hmm. for about two years. Okay, two years. Okay, that's fair. Nice. Yes. Nice. Taking it serious, actually getting bookings and working as a model. Yeah, I see. I mean, you're 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 everywhere, you know, and that's what I can respect. Like you're really on your grind, and um, that no, takes us to the, yeah, absolutely. That takes us to the next question too. You know, being a Dominican, we were talking about how you like to dance. Um, how is the party scene in New York different than it is in the in the DR in the Dominican Republic? Oh, man. It's so crazy. Well, first of all, it's the timing. How here in New York City, actually, we party till 4 a.m. And I um, mean, in, in, in the New York Republic, it's actually till 2, just like here in, in L.A. But I mean, I, I feel like it's different just because we more, we have more of the, the uh, American urban. In the New Republic, you have more of bachata, merengue, and then you have the Spanish urban, which is called reggaeton. So I guess it's just the flow and the vibe. But overall, it's just turned up everybody's just turned up here i mean people are people who are in dominican republic and come here they, they'll be like it's just the ambience the language so it's not much of a difference i right. guess it's just the timing really and how what time yeah i gotta because i'm in la too i gotta go to the parties that you go to because every club that i go to it's always like people just grouped up like it's oh, like really? a well, cult have, or something you have to tag along with me absolutely <laughs> we can definitely set that up yeah <laughs> absolutely absolutely now here's another question that we have back to modeling uh i like to go back and forth with my interviews but um cool. if you weren't modeling you know what i mean what would you what what, what would you be doing uh well i guess traveling the world dancing as a backup dancer that's what i would be doing <laughs> do they get do <laughs> backup da- do backup dancers get do they get paid pretty good I mean, it depends. If you, I mean, it, it depends like who you're working with, who you're working for. Um, it just depends. But I guess it's just at the end, it's not. Well, for me, at the end, I mean, it's about the money and about the passion. But I guess at the end, it's about what you love to do. Right. And eventually, you know, you'll find the 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 correct the right job, and you'll get you'll be blessed, and you get paid 
Get paid. Definitely, that's dope. That's dope. How was it? Uh, I, I also seen too that you uh, met up with with the homie Miguel. How was it? How was it? You know, linking up with him. Uh, it was great. Um, I was working at Hanami in New York City. Um, I was go go dancing. Um, it was just you know he was there. He was performing live for everybody, and we were VIP, just turning up. Really nice guy, man. Shout out to him. <laughs> nice. That's what's up. That's what's up. We got uh, Jennifer Morell right here on the JL Show, TJOS. Let's get it. Um, question number five. Here's another question. I love acting. You know what I mean? Like acting, I believe, sets the mood. It sets the trend. It sets everything. And you've actually had a taste of that in the Romeo and Juliet uh, play at uh, Lehman College. Is that what it's called? Lehman College? Lehman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lehman College. Okay. Lehman College. That's in uh, New York. What, what part of New York is that in? In the Bronx. The Bronx. Yeah. Okay. 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 Side. Okay. Yeah. So how how was it? You know, being involved in a in a in a play, in a popular mm-hmm. play like that. Oh, first of all, it was my first time, and I'm like, you know, I got this. I'm a dancer. You know, I got this. And when I really started getting like these lines, and I got to act and dance at the same time, it was just something different. Um, I challenged myself, but overall, it was just great. It was a new thing I was doing, um, and. Uh, just rehearsing, it was different than what I'm used to because when you're dancing, you're go-go dancing, it's just straight freestyle. Right. Um, and it was great. It was challenging. Um, I loved it. And it's something that I'm actually looking forward to in doing film later on in my life. Nice, nice. <laughs> or the near future. There you go. There you go. And that's what I was going to say, too. Like, do you plan on heading towards professional acting? Like, is that something that you want to yes, move to? I, I am introducing that in my life right now. I want to do interview film. There you go. So... Nice, nice, nice. Now, now, when you say, I'm, I'm sorry, but when you said, because, because on in the play you had to dance and you had to sing, how was, it was that? It was musical. Oh, so how, so how was that? You know what I mean? Like, how did you? What was like? Did you have to do extra workouts? Like, because I know that's a lot of cardio. You know what I mean? Like, and you have to make sure I mean, that your voice stays the same. You know. So how, how did you, how did you get, how did you do that? I mean, you have a coach who helps you out, but for me, it was just more of a just. Uh, yeah, just um, making sure I say the words while I'm dancing because I already have the dancing part. Right. Just making now, making sure I introduce and combine both together. So I mean, it's just something new, and when you're having fun and you love it, I guess you know, you catch on to it pretty quickly. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. Anybody who could do that, that's that's full of respect. <laughs> Jennifer Morell right here on the air with J.O. Now, um, everybody who knows J.O. knows that I'm a huge music head, you know, and, and on your behind-the-scenes photo shoots, it's weird, but I noticed that you have really good music that plays in the background. You know what I mean? Like, every single video that I've seen. And I just want to know, like, do you select the do you, do you select the music, or, or is that something that the, the editor adds? I mean, well, I, I I pick up the music. I I love music overall. Really? Besides dancing music, music. I mean, I love music. I, That's I, awesome. I, sometimes I'm I'm in the studio with my brother, mm-hmm. and I love it. <laughs> where do you find these? Well, a lot of times. Where do you find these artists from? Um. Well, just the internet, I guess. <laughs> I know, because music radio. is everywhere, right? Yeah, music is everywhere. But it's crazy though, because like. It's just like music that like deserves to be played like on the radio. You know what I mean? Like you have good taste. Yeah. I like that. I like that. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, it takes us to question number seven. Speaking of music, you were working with the legendary Kanye West, aka uh, Kanye Kardashian, aka Yeezus. Um, you know, being a dancer in his music video, Revel Atlantic City. Like, what was that experience like? I mean, it was crazy. It was pretty quick. I mean, you rehearse, you get ready, um, and showtime. It was pretty quick. I didn't get to really interact with him, but he was a really nice guy, and I appreciate um, just getting the opportunity and working with them. Nice, nice, nice. We got Jennifer Morell right here with J.O. Um, back to modeling, because that's how I discovered you. Where do you think the modeling industry would be 10 years from now? Let's just say like 10 years from now. Where do you think all these models are going to be? Including yourself. I mean, well, besides getting, they're going to have new, totally different new faces. I mean, I feel like, I mean, people nowadays don't only do modeling. You, you're, you're a model, you do acting, you sing. So I feel like you never know. You'll have more artists and just more actors, I guess. People just taking different lanes and expanding themselves and just 
doing different things at the same, at the same time. What about you? Where do you think you'll be 10 years from now? Uh, hopefully doing film. <laughs> hopefully where? Uh, doing film. Oh, doing film. There you go. Yeah, what, what kind of film yeah, would you yeah. want to be in? Like, who would you want to co-star with? Mm, 